Hey everyone, in this video, we are going to integrate arts and mathematics in Desmos Graphing Calculator. Our goal in this video is to create this animation where you have this sun that is following a shape as it sets. So we have here a parabolic shape. We are going to follow this shape as the sun is setting down while the waves are also moving. So how are we going to create this animation using mathematical function? So let's begin our animation problem. The first thing that we are going to do is we are going to draw the water. And the formula that we are going to use is this formula, y is less than or equal to the negative absolute value of sine of the quantity x minus t. We know that the sine function is a wave function. But since we want only the lower part of the wave, then we take the negative of the absolute value. And that way, we are always getting the lower part of the wave. Then we want to move this to the right. And the way to do that is we are going to vary the value of the t in this function because it will have an effect of a horizontal translation. So this is now the effect of increasing the value of t in this animation. Now we want several of these so that it will create an illusion of moving waves. And so we create another one, which is this, and we try to do it by slightly changing the coefficient of x. Because remember, if for example, I make this two and I start at t equals zero, notice now that for the same period, there are two cycles when you multiply the x by 2 compared to when it's only multiplied by 1. But I think we do not need that two cycles compared to one cycle for the other one. We just need to vary it slightly, so we make it 1.2. Then we will create another one. This time, we'll make it 1.5x minus t as the input of our sine function. Notice that we have here darker part. That is because when you have several intersections of these graphs, the darker would be the shading here. But those parts without intersection are the lighter blues. Now let's animate these three graphs of the sine function and you will now have these moving waves. Next is we want to draw our sun. So our sun is a circle and its equation is in the form the quantity x minus h squared plus the quantity y minus k squared. If you make this just equal, Notice that you only have a circle, but in order to shade it, we are going to make the inequality less than or equal to. And we now have this sun. Then we want to move this sun and let's trace the path that the sun is going to move. The equation is this parabola. Remember that when you have the equation negative x squared, you have this parabola. But we want the parabola to open up a little bit. So we are going to divide this by a certain constant, let's say 20, that opens up the parabola. But we are going to move this up so that these two will intersect, and that is about 4 points, so let's add 4, and that moves the path upwards. Then, in order to move this sun going to the right, we are going to vary the value of the h in this equation. So if I change the value of h, it will create now this motion. The y value is controlled by this equation, negative 1 over 20 h squared plus 4, which is now this path, and the x value is determined by the value of h. So together, that will move this circle following this path as if you have a rising and a setting sun. Now, we do not want to see this parabolic path, so we can remove that. And we would like also to move the waves. So we are going to vary the value of t by automating its value. And now, we now have this rising and setting sun animation. So for many students, this is one way for them to really be motivated to learn these different mathematical functions. Because from the sine function, from the equation of a circle, from inequalities, then we'll be able to create this beautiful scenery animation. So thank you very much, and we hope to see you again in our next video. Bye for now.